Now up to 50 undiscovered archaeological monuments, some dating back 4,000 years, have been unearthed through a series of Google Earth images taken during the 2018 summer drought. Author and photographer Anthony Murphy has been analysing the Google Earth imagery and he joins me now. Anthony, Google Imagery released these images. You've counted up to 50 monuments. Um, what is it about dry weather that uh, lends itself to the discovery of monuments? Oh, good evening, Mary. Well, what it is, quite simply, is the fact that you know the crops that are growing in the ground are starved of moisture. And the archaeological features, which are essentially ditches and pits that have been dug out at some time in the past and filled in again, the, the soil density and the, the content is different than the surrounding soil. That maintains moisture just a tiny bit more efficiently than the surrounding soil. Whatever crop is growing above the archaeology has access to a tiny bit more water than the other crops. And what you get is a contrast in the colour of the crop, which presents from the air as an image of the archaeological features, which are actually several feet beneath the surface. How significant are some of these these finds? Um, well... That, uh, I suppose, I'm not an archaeologist, but I, I imagine that uh, several of the, the, the ring ditches uh, and sites that look to be ring barrows would be probably Bronze Age in date, which would make them possibly up to 4,000 years old. Wow. What, um, what do you think should happen to them now? Would you like to see the sites excavated or protected? What would you like to see done? It, it's probably not practical to talk in terms of excavation because of the sheer number. And don't forget, there are tens of thousands of recorded monuments that have never been excavated. What will happen is that I've reported them to the National Monuments Service. I'm continuing my search and I'm still finding monuments. They will designate them, hopefully, formally, uh, and they will be offered legislative protection. Now, unfortunately, the, the features in the main are beneath the surface. So the monuments that perhaps in former times uh, were visible on the surface mm-hmm. and had surface expression are no longer visible. But they will be afforded protection. Yes, it would be great if some of them could be excavated. There's a very nice one there at a townland not far from Nace in Kildare called Old Town Donore, which presents as a sort of a bivalent ring fort with what looks like a, a, an avenue leading up to it from from the east, uh, certainly, uh, I would say, is the most impressive of the ones I've seen so far. That's very, yeah, very, very interesting. Um, there's also the, the the giant henge near near Newgrange, wasn't it? Yeah, last July, myself and Ken Williams, another photographer, uh, made a very significant discovery uh, at 750 metres from Newgrange when we found what is thought to be a giant late Neolithic henge, to be a very rare type, and of course, a very large type of monument uh, in the shadow of Newgrange in the Brunabonia complex. And again, that was in a field of wheat, which by the time we had found it on July the 10th had been basically starved of moisture. And uh, so uh, the uh, the crop standing above the archaeology had that little edge, that little advantage over the surrounding crops. Do we have any idea how many monuments we would have in this country? Well, I, I can tell you that the most common type of monument encountered as a ring force. Yeah. These are domestic, uh, defend, usually defended domestic uh, uh, sort of habitations, uh, circular in form. In about 20 years ago, perhaps, you know, 18 or 20 years ago, uh, Matthew Stout, the archaeologist, estimated there were there were 45,000 known wow. ring Wow. Listen, I'm going to have to leave it there, Anthony. I've, I've run out of time. Thank you for joining us, author and photographer Anthony Murphy, bringing us to the end of Drive Time for today. The